Hello YouTube, this is the um, DBT Gamer Show. This is episode 102. This is my Super Mario 64 review for the um, DS. This is one of my all time favourite 3D Marios. This is probably the best one out of all the 3D Mario games. Mario Galaxy was pretty cool. This was awesome. Sunshine was the worst out of the three of them. But it's probably the best out of the three, in my opinion. So let's review this already. This was the very first DS thing I ever owned, and it was awesome. Now let's fire my DS up and start with this game. Now I did have the original version of Super Mario 64 on my, N64, on my old black N64 back in the day, but. Um, I sold it, and once I had the DS version, I didn't really feel any need to buy the old version. This version, in a lot of ways, is better than the um, N64 version, apart from one thing, which I will cover in the review. Okay, let's go to the story for this game. Well, the story for Super Mario 64 DS has changed a little bit from the um, original. Basically, Mario, Luigi, and Warrior go around to Princess Peach's castle for a cake. And whilst the four of them are in there, Bowser kidnaps Peach, Warrior, Luigi, and Mario. And Yoshi, at this time, he didn't hear about the cake party. And he's on top of the castle sleeping. And Lucky Two comes over to tell him that everyone in the side of the castle has been kidnapped and he has to go rescue them. So the, the story has been changed just a little bit. Um, the, one of the most coolest things about this game is that you get to play as four different characters instead of just one, which is really awesome. The graphics in this game haven't really changed that much from the N64. They look basically the same Although, they may have been smoothed out a tiny bit. <laughs> uh, the multiplayer in this game, it's okay. All you do is, with your friends, click a certain number of stars in certain stages in under 30 seconds. First with most stars wins. That's basically it. Um, the controls. This is the biggest problem in the game. The controls in this game have several flaws, which I will now complain about. First things first, why in the holy mother of hell do you have to hold Y to run? I mean, when I was in the um, shop buying this game, the only answer the store clerk could come up with is because the DS does not have an analog stick. Just because the DS does not have an analog stick, Nintendo, it doesn't need to hold Y to run. I feel that Y sh Mario should start running once he picks up speed. You don't need to hold a button. It seems pretty pointless. Uh, and your problem with the game controls while I have is they swap the buttons. B is jump. Nintendo, what are you thinking? A is meant to be jump, not the way around. And A punch them, kicks them, whatever else. X is your camera. Um. R to crouch, L's more camera stuff. If you want to rotate the camera, it's on, on the touch screen now. Pause brings up the pause menu. Select brings up your controls and um, some other stuff. So, yeah. So, the controls have problems. The N64 controls were a lot better, but the DS controls just about work. Well, the hardest things to do in this game is the uh, is those long jumps. You know, the um, run R A jumps or run Z A. If you're talking about N64, they can be a lot more difficult to do in this game. Do the uh, fact having to hold Y all the time. Um, the music in this game is pretty good, although in some levels it's a little bit boring because outside the castle all you hear is birds twittering all the time. It feels a little bit lazy, but other than that, the music's pretty good. The good stuff about this game, well, the story is pretty good. Although, 
Yeah, most Mario stories are the same. Princess Peach gets captured, you've got to go save her, yada yada yada. That's... Um, the cutscenes in this game, they are pretty good, and they've kept all the original voice actors from the um, original game. And Mario's voice is a lot better in Mario 64 than anything in Galaxy. In Galaxy, his voice was far too high pitched for me, and I hated it. But in in this game, he's he sounds a lot more like a like a male than a female. Uh, the game in this game is awesome. It's just a really good game. It's very similar to um, Banjo Kazooie. You go into a level, you collect stars. Once you get enough stars, you can open new levels. You beat bosses. It's just awesome. This is the first level of the game. This is a big bomb field or whatever it's called. It's a pretty easy level. In each level, there's eight stars. You got seven quest stars and your hundred coin star. Um. Okay, let's talk about power-ups. In the game, there's several power-ups. Wario, if you click the power flower, you um, get the uh, metal power, which lets, you, um, sw which lets you get down to the bottom of, the of water really quickly so you can get certain stars. It also makes you really strong, so if you're running into enemies, they won't damage you at all. Uh, Luigi, he has several powers. He can walk on water. Who does he think he is? Jesus? Um... He also has the. He can also turn invisible with the uh, power flower. And. That's basically it. Mario, he has two power ups. He has the wing cap to make him fly. He's the only one that can use the wing cap. And, um. He can also inflate himself when he cuts the power flower to get to higher areas. Um, Yoshi can throw eggs, his power flower lets him breathe fire, and he can hover in the air. He's a pretty good character, actually. He can't punch, that's his only downside, though. Um, another cool power up in the game is if you, if you jump on a Koopa Troopa, you can actually surf around on their shell, which is awesome. Um... So yeah, the power-ups are really good. Um, now I'm going to talk about the mini-games in the game. These, personally, I think they were just an excuse to add in a touch pen feature. There is a control type where you can use the stars to move Mario, but it sucks. The best control style I always use is a dual-handed mode, because that seems to work the best out of all three of them. If you go into the rec room and you have uh, main men, you have uh, several um, mini-games which you can play. you got, like, um, find some ghosts. I'll just show you one very quickly now. Basically, you've got Ruby touch your stars over the screen until you find all the ghosts. That's basically it. Now you two have run out of time, so please join me in part two where I will, um, excuse me, finish off with this game. Until then, see ya.